All right, folks, now we've gotten video one down where I went and got this RV. And I've done a lot of research trying to find out everything I can about a Winnebago fifth wheel. And somehow they don't have anything on it. Now this one here is in really good shape. It's got some dirt running down it. It was in a big building if you've seen the first video. And it's got quite a bit of specs on it. I don't know if you can read any of that. And we're just going with what we got. All right, now, coming in here, underneath there, we have a big galvanized tank. Up here, this one here folds out to be a full-size bed, so it has multiple cushions. Now, if you look at the condition of it, I mean, it is just pristine. There's not a mark on it. The heater is very clean. The stove is very clean. It has a little blower up in here when you open this up. You hear it? And everything else in here is in really good shape. The uh, uh, Some of the glues might have come loose in here, but the sink is quite nice. Uh, it's got like a double sized. This here faucet, um, I was trying to figure out whether or not it might have been original and I went back looking for the brand on it and it's a Union Brass which I believe that company's pretty much now in China and been out of business for 25 30 years the internals in here uh, the, the construction of it as I showed in the previous video was is fiberglass and a pretty unique construction process now down here it came with this these little samples that were uh, originally from the dealer now the guy that owned this was akin to the dealer family member of the dealer and this shows you here what they gave you when you bought these or put them had them in the dealership this is how this unit is constructed as you see the ones they they had them stored up underneath here and look at this all this real pretty copper pipe I mean this thing here is just a hundred percent original nothing has been doctored or messed with on this RV yet so what we have here is this is what it shows here thermal panel construction now these are the this is the panel system that is used in this trailer now as far as the roof this is a miniaturized version of what the roof is the roof is actually about this thick of this design and it has aluminum every four feet and then it has just regular wood and on the sides of the aluminum on both sides is is wood a one by three so i, I kind of researched that looked into its construction dug into this thing and this is the panel construction that is all of your outside walls that's the design for it and on here they have inserts of aluminum that the outer skin is bonded to. So it has both wood, of course, and aluminum, just like the roof does. And the floor, it shows you a much thinner version of what you're really standing on. Um, this is only 3 eighths and this is 3 eighths, but it's actually 5 eighths and 3 eighths when I looked through um, underneath down here where the lines go through. So it's a representation, it's not the actual, but this is how they're built. It's a four season trailer is what they built here back in 1972 and these came with the RV from way back when now um, up here in the trailer you have a lot of room five feet from here to the bed then you have a what they call a recreational vehicle queen size bed that's up in the front bit of water marks in my trailer that I looked everywhere there's no damage no rot no nothing and it seems because this was out at the very front snow would blow up on the top and condensation made some water marks but there is no damage so I mean everywhere you look in here this thing is just solid solid you'd expect that you know it's on this plywood and the plywood thickness that's up here is a full quarter inch it's not that real thin paneling stuff. It's not like the paneling that's, you know, made for the cabinets and things. So, you know, everywhere in here is just, normally you'd see rot or you'd see water damage. And in here you see nothing. And there's the exhaust vent. Now the way this thing here works, it's fascinating. 
it shares so it literally takes and you hear this running it literally takes exhaust air out through here and out through that vent back there that goes to the outside so it kind of shares it pressurizes it in both directions and under here it actually draws in fresh air from it has a tube all the way from underneath at the ground ground level underneath underneath the trailer so I can actually feel a little air circulating right under here now this is a uh, straw sign which is a weird name I've never even knew of these never heard of them and the rest of it's all Coleman it even has a little light that will, will come on to let you know that your uh, your thermopile is active to you know that you have voltage in your gas valve which is kind of handy the uh, the entirety of the RV is in amazing shape it's 45 years old so let me see if I can get back here further and get you a wider picture here it's in really good shape the uh, factory chair flip it over it's got Winnebago on it so it's all original stuff it's got a little Winnebago stamped in the metal right down here and WI that's what the stampings for it's Winnebago Industries and matches everything matches as goofy as it might look um, definitely 1970s the bathroom back here is in very very good condition and it has no you normal this is normal places where you would see rot or damage it has none I mean this thing is just pristine but it does have like you know a little bit of glue or something loose on some of the trim pieces everything else is in really good shape I've, I've been shocked by it the condition of it it's it's not been used a whole whole lot and just from the heat some of the rubber trim and stuff like that I need to put something in here to make new trim around it but otherwise it's you know a little caulking here a little caulking there it's got a real nice little window here that uh, I checked on all of these their seals are perfect it sat all these years and the seals are just freaking perfect the uh, all the other water lines are inside of chases like this right here that's a chase with two three eighths water lines and they come from the tub you have access to all of this this is what I really love about this Winnebago is that you have access to everything all through here really simple nothing complicated um, even the duct pipe the way it's all ran is just impressive and I love the way that it's ran and look it even comes with some very old <laughs> dish, dish detergent um, a very old can of somewhere at uh, Kings um, off bug repellent and a nice little pan for your oatmeal in the morning I guess now all the rest of this whole trailer is in absolutely in amazing shape including if you look up in here if I get light in there there's the uh, fiberglass fenders over there also now this being a 1972 build it is old but everything works look at this nice it's not broken not fractured the gaskets are a little bit dusty but they're perfect the bottom of the refrigerator is I mean look how clean the coils are on this thing um, just absolutely shocking the condition it's it's just premium even the condensate water collector a lot of them don't have it um, it does have a little bit of where the paint came off down here but it's not it's solid and the uh, the year model of manufacturer is 1972 so that's kind of nice in the fact that it only pulls 2.1 amps that's impressive at 110 volts means it's basically only pulling about 245 200 250 watts of power to run this that's that's pretty damn efficient for the year now the uh, the rest of this comes with <laughs> some fairly old stuff here 
a whole bunch of these real nice old style I used to have these when I was a kid you know nice old style dish towels that were old calendars um, there's a bunch of them in here and you know not crazy all the time about digging through people's stuff hey 65 that was a very good year um, but you know they have some mismatch, mismatch stuff that's in here construction wise this thing here is solid it has uh, oh a number of miscellaneous things in it that belong to it or came with it including the information on the toilet and we're going to look through the books here in a little bit on this and you'll see all the books that came with this which was a pretty good deal so the the length of the trailer is is 28 foot 27 foot 8 total and if you look through here you see how how nice it is I mean it's in good shape we are going to be pulling this vent as I said in previous and I'll show you the air conditioner right quick it's going to be going in it and then we'll go look at the books and take a look at what this trailer came with of course we'll be changing all these out to have LEDs inside of them it won't be long we'll have this beautiful thing up and on the road everything else is nice all the curtains all match all the original curtains that came with it even the little uh, whatever they want to call it that's on this window here um, cover it's the uh, same matching system as the rest of it so let's um let's go through a process of a video where you guys will all get to see how much was done to it now you can see here electrical test was done by this guy and gas test done by this guy here signed off and the water test was done by that guy signed off all on 12 28 29 and 29 of 1972 man it's impressive solid damn trailer i uh, usually find them in a lot worse shape so let's go look at the ac unit that's going to be going in this so here it is 1973 with a very long long overhang uh, the overhang is almost 11 feet which is what you'd use for like a 10-foot bed and what they did have to haul this with was a international four-door pickup with a 10-foot bed that looked like a freaking semi it was big enough um but really good condition they uh they said that 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 there happened from a hay baling truck that had one of its stakes run up against the side of it while it was up and underneath the rest of it just dirty from years of being in a shed dirt dripping down on the sides and we will clean all this up and she will shine again so there's all your information on her Winnebago Industries fifth wheel 527 which means 27 and a half feet that's actually 27 foot 8 and Winnebago fascinating so let's look at that uh, AC unit and then we'll open up the books right quick nice trailer all right now Coming over here, there's some old Dexstar rims. Um, we have a, another Winnebago. Now this one's different. This one here had its whole front nose cut off of it. There used to be a, they used to be a Lasaro band front end on this. So this is a Winnebago Lasaro. And I've already got uh, this nice big heavy pintle. Um, I'm going to be using on a trailer, so y'all watch for that. That's going to be a hell of a video. And this right here, this right here was salvaged, and it was manufactured in 2 of 84. And there was a guy actually living in it. How, I don't know, because it's a freaking mess. But it has an extremely good air conditioner in it. The air conditioner had been replaced in this Winnebago uh, fairly recently. So we're going to be taking that air conditioner that's here from a Winnebago of 84 year model and putting it in a 73 Winnebago. And um, if you don't know what the inside of one of these look like, well, here it is. It's piled. <laughs> it's piled full of junk. But there's, uh, they're amazing. They have a slide out bathroom. This actually slides out 
over the top of that drain so you can use it as a shower and then you push these these buttons in and the walls will retract there so like that if you ever wonder why how they have a shower in one of these little things there it is now we've salvaged parts out of this one and there's a lot of people apparently restoring these old Lasaros with the Renault diesel engines in them and we're going to be shredding this one for its parts so that people want this trailing axle they can have it it's really weird it's a four bolt it's it's made by Fiat Renault whoever it's uh, made over in the body parts most of the parts are made over in uh, in Europe so back here on the back this guy really turned this into his little hangout machine so a lot of things are worth a lot of money to a lot of people so we're gonna be salvaging a lot of it not too bad huh so that's where the AC unit will be coming off of and we're gonna take it and put it on that one that we just walked through and for those of you who wonder why I screwed around with these old RVs well isn't this a pretty example of what you can do with one I mean that's yeah it's a pile full of crap but isn't that a kind of nice example this was this was all done for under 600 bucks including the generator so you know can't, can't knock it 16 foot bed 21 foot length 7,000 pound capacity under 600 dollars I've got another one sitting right here and we'll be doing that with that one pretty soon I'm actually gonna make a power trailer out of it in fact pay attention here in the video I'm gonna put a picture up of what that's gonna look like by the end of the winter time what this one will look like stay tuned on it now let's go look at them books all right now we've got the books that came with it and um, all the paperwork has came with this that for toilet the uh, materials with that all the different authorized service places you could take it to um, <laughs> weird things uh, the Dometic refrigerator unit and all the service places you could take it to a a um, here we go a park rules for Winter Gardens Park adult retirement park in Yuma nice uh, you know don't let your dog poop on the lawn that kind of stuff we have the full-scale original service directory that's kind of nice dear customer and then we have some more about the toilet toilet seem to be pretty important to these guys and then we have the 1973 owner's manual which kind of shows that no wonder he had an international pickup kind of looks like one so we look in here as it tells us about the thermal panel construction which is just the big thing going with Winnebago I'm gonna to try to get in here and show you here this is the hitch that I have in the back of my truck that was the that was the factory hitch that came with this RV so I have the I have the original factory hitch uh, that came with it which most people would not have it's that's very, so that's very good it tells you everything as far as your trailers now this is the the trailer spe uh, specifications here is this trailer here the 527 CR and then there was the regular trailer which is regular tow behind this was the only fifth wheel this is the only fifth wheel ever manufactured by Winnebago at the time in fact until 1999 they ne they did not manufacture another fifth wheel so you have everything in here I mean it's pretty good stuff that, that gives you all the details of what you're dealing with here and even all the fuses they in the back they give you the complete schematics to everything on this this trailer um, which is kind of unusual I've never seen that not even on the new ones tells you everything about how to service all the stuff you have in there including changing things out and this is uh, this is unusual and the only option which was this Duratherm 
optional equipment that did not come on the trailer is the stabilizer jacks and that air conditioner which that exact air conditioner we just showed you where it's sitting at and we're going to be putting it on so there is no other things that's been done to it it's a very nice setup so what we're looking at here is all the stuff that just came with that rv and if i'm boring you i'm sorry but this is the things that came with it this is how original this thing is it never had anything it never went many places it didn't lose anything the condition of the rv is in the fifth wheel is in very good shape so just giving you some details even the owner had put down all the colors for the wiring that big pile of stuff came with the rv so a lot of work on this rv including the replacement door that they bought and he told me down in 1979 in arizona because the other door got ripped off that door is going to even have to be painted to color the rest of it we're going to do a total restore including like i had another video raising the roof using the same metal and making it seamless including the same vinyl adhesive uh, skin that's going to go on the paneling it'll be seamless you won't know the difference but there she is nice big fifth wheel so there we go guys y'all look forward to videos of the updates the changes and everything else we're going to do to this thing all right